Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Today's video is going to be about our quartzite trip and I want to talk specifically about the big RV tent show. There's going to be an overhead video coming up here of it. That tent is 700,000 700, square feet of exhibitors. The tent's 100 feet wide by 700 feet long. There will be over 400 vendors inside. Outside, there's 13 service bays. There's vendors such as Michelin, Blue Ox, Roadmaster, Safety Plus, Coney, Super Steer, Clear Vision, Protang, SMI, PDI, and KNN. You can have your RV serviced, have uh, shocks absorbers put in, uh, Safety Plus puts in a steering stabilizer, Michelin will insto install tires for you, Roadmaster's there, and Blue Ox have tow bars. So while you're shopping around, you can have your RV work done. That's pretty unique to this show. It's referred to basically as the Big Tent RV Show. Officially, it's known as the Quartzite Sports Vacation and RV Show. I filmed this video on the last day of the show, a Sunday. Um, I was told that it's like really super crowded. And I don't do well in crowds. If you see in the video, I'm the guy driving around a little scooter. And it's kind of hard for people to see me because I'm sitting so low to the ground. I usually get trampled on and run over and such. So I waited to the very last day, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And as you can see driving around, or you'll be walking around hopefully, that it really isn't too crowded. And we got a chance to stop and chat with some of the vendors. I had a nice conversation with the Escapees Club. There's some really nice people. If you don't belong to them, it's a it's a really good outfit. They have a monthly magazine. Well, I don't think it's monthly. I think it's every two months. And they have some events around the country. And they have a group of uh, escapees and uh, birds of a feather meet out at Plumosa LTV long-term visitors area some of the details about the uh, RV tent show here as you can see pets are allowed and they ask you of course to keep them on a leash and sometimes you'll see strollers and it's, it's the first time I ever saw it you'll see pet pets in the stroller sometimes it's cats sometimes it's elderly dogs and uh, well, there's all kinds of pets running around here. I can imagine it just be awful when it's super crowded. Poor little dogs probably get their paws stepped on. I'm not going to ramble on during the whole video. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more about what we saw. Um, as you see, there's all kinds of vendors here. There's, It kind of reminds me of like a county fair type um, trade show. I mean, as you can see, there's purses here. There's jewelry vendors. We saw the people that have the cooking utensils and there are some frying pans there. Um, I think I saw somebody cutting hair actually in here. There's some jewelry vendors and then there's your good RV show vendors. Um, satellite dish, direct, uh, dish TV. Um, I saw it so coming up pretty soon. You'll see people selling hot tubs. And there's, like I said, some of your home show things. Um, if you're interested in being a work camper, there's several people here that will actually hire you on the spot to do work camping at RV parks. And I think Amazon was there. They hire a lot of people in their warehouses in the getting about Christmas time. You'll also see um, some people recruiting for the beet harvest. I believe that's up in the Dakotas in the early fall. There's also some people there that were recruiting gate guards at uh, oil well facilities around the country. That seemed like a pretty interesting job, but um, I think it's a 24 hour a day gig. 
So if there's only two of you, there's going to be a couple long 12-hour days. Anyhow, um, I'll quit rambling on and jibber-jab and let you look at the video. I have about probably three or four, maybe five more of these. I'll look through them and see if they're worth posting so you can get a chance to see what's available at the big RV tent show. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it.